Hey guys, Henry from Adventure Air here, and yes, it's another lesson for Jeremy today. Today we're going to do uh, some, uh, I call it a half and a half lesson. We're going to go fly away from the airport over to the practice area, and uh, we're going to do maneuvers, aerial maneuvers for his test, which is turns around a point and S turns down a road. And uh, there's also one called rectangular pattern that uh, most examiners don't do. They usually use the pattern as the rectangular pattern, but, but some do. Most of them do turns around a point in S turns though. So we're going to do a few of those for about half of the lesson. Then we're going to come back here and do more takeoff and landings because we know how important takeoff and landings are. Don't we, Jeremy? Absolutely. Can't fly without them. That's right. So uh, we just listed our ATIS. It was information. Fox front. Nope. Hotel. Hotel. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a day. <laughs> so we're going to taxi out and uh, we're going to talk to Tower and um, have some fun. So come along with us. Number 113, Charlie X-Ray, west departure approved, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. Traffic short final for 26 left at Cherokee is in the south pattern. Clear for takeoff, 26 right, and we'll got the traffic in sight for 26 left. 113, Charlie X-Ray. All right. All right, so I'm not going to say too much on the takeoff. A little, uh, and uh, don't good. don't think about all the people that are judging you right now. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Let's see how this takeoff goes. Okay. We're going to throttle up a little bit here. It's 2000. You know, towers right now with this vehicle, Julia, full short out runway 26 right. Bravo, uh, ready for departure to Riverside. Yeah, All right, rotor spinning up. 100 almost. Stick back, release the brake, throttle up. Okay, stay on the center line and stick all the way back. All the way back. There you go. Here comes 300 and the nose. Right there. Nose down, right there. Nose down. All right, just hold it off the ground. Wait till you get to 60. If you're at 60, you can climb out and add your trim. Other way. Other way on the trip. There you go. Probably enough trail. We got 6 2, runway 26 left, clear for the option. Traffic All right. 5 mile final. We made it. What altitude are we looking for out here? 2,000. 2,000? Okay. Right, guys, so just uh, west of the Chino Airport is a, uh, well, as you guys know, you probably have seen my other videos, is the Happy Valley. I call it the Happy Valley. Nobody else does. Nobody else does. <laughs> I think it's a Happy Valley. It is. And again, not to be paranoid, but I'm always playing where would I land game. Where would you land here, Jeremy? There's a field there, there's a field there, there's a field there. <laughs> yeah. What about on this side? Uh, the golf course. That's the 3 9 Echo, runway 26 right, clear to land. Love golf courses. Right, clear to land, 3 9 Echo. Grass is all nicely mowed and short. And uh, you just might have to, just might be irritating some golfers, but... Nah, uh, they'll live. And golf, golf courses look like little runways to me. Yep. All right, how's your roll trim? Is it okay? It... Uh, it's rolling roll right. There yep. you go, there's center. Much better. Yeah, number three, Charlie X-Ray, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, one, three, Charlie X-Ray. See you. See ya. Yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead and turn him down for right now. Okay. What do you guys think? How's Jeremy doing? Pretty good today. 
Today's, today's one of your on days. You're yeah. on. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> All right, let's go right about 20 degrees. How about there? Over here? Okay. Yeah. How can you tell it's 20 degrees, by the way? Uh, I was looking at the compass up top. Okay. Is there, I don't see anything, well, right there. That one is going to be more accurate, too. It is? Okay. Yes. But the, the one top works fine, too. Okay. Okay, so, first of all, wow, look how green the valley is here. Beautiful. It's a very happy valley now. It's a very greeny, happy valley. Um, all right, so we're going to pick a point on the ground, and I'm liking these um, grain silos down here to our left. Okay. You yeah, have the cameras looking that way, right? I do. Oh, I have nice. one, but it's gonna it's not gonna show it. It might not it might or might not show it. I don't know. Okay. So we're gonna use the grain silos for our turns around a point. Now the deal with turns around a point is we want to maintain the same distance away uh, from the grain silos all the way in around the circle. And um, we're not quite starting yet. I know you're trying to start okay. yet, but yeah, just, just wait. Okay. And then um, we're going to enter on the downwind, too. So you know the wind's kind of coming from this direction. Yeah. So as we turn onto the downwind, we'll enter. And then I want you to tell me when you are happy with the amount of distance you have away from the from the grain silos. Okay. And uh, guys, it's pretty subjective. So I say don't get crazy tight on your turn around the point. The tighter you are to the, the object, the more difficult this is. Give yourself some space. Get a half a mile or maybe even a mile away from, the, from your... Uh, your obstacle that you're turning around, it'll just make it easier for you. All right, so we're turning on to the downwind. You let me know when you're starting your turns around the grain silo. Okay. Are, we're not quite in the downwind yet, are we? Nope. Well, we're getting there. Crosswind. Like I said, you tell me when. I'm trying to keep it in view. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, we'll do it now. Now, okay, I'm monitoring that distance. Now again, depending on how the wind is, uh, it's whether how, how sharp of an angle he's gonna have to turn. The there tendency everybody has is to get too tight, to spiral in to, to the target. So make sure you stay nice and wide all the way around. I think I'm not doing too bad. Tower, November 4th. Right, we're one fourth of the way around the obstacle, and how's our altitude? Ooh, we're getting a little high, 2,000 feet we want to be at. For your test, you're going to have 100 feet up or down, so if you get to 2,100, you're not going to do well. Target gets the way I do is I go target, altitude, target, altitude. I'm checking traffic for you. I don't see anybody with us. Your distance is still good. You're still descending down to 2,000. We were at 2080, but now we're coming down to 2040. Keep coming down to 2,000. Watch your speed. You got to maintain a constant speed. Yeah, I don't want to get super, super slow. A lot of stuff going on. It's your distance, it's your altitude, and your speed. Three quarters of the way around, looking good, right at 2,020 feet, so you're a little 20 feet high. So keep coming down, make that correction, keep that nose down. Number four, Charlie Juliet, turn. Because if you pull the power and pull the nose up, you're kind of counteracting yourself there. Yeah. A mile and a half north, northwest of your position is Edison helicopter. Now we're at 2,000, but watch the descent right now, we're a little too much. Here, not zero for Charlie Juliet. Down to 1960. Now the 1940. Gotta keep it around 2,000. And coming around right about there. That's good. All right, so what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna do a right 180 degree turn. A right what, 180? I'll tell you, yeah, right 180. Okay. November 3, Hotel. The way that you could have made that easier for yourself is to put the target out your window and not my window. Yeah. Then it's easier for you to see. So, we're going to enter on the downwind one more time, which is going to be on the other side. We're going to do a right-hand traffic pattern around the turns around a point, and we're still going to use the green silos. So when you're on the downwind with the target to your right, let me know. Let me reset and get back to the... Uh, get back to 2000, too. All right. 
right, 20, 60, come down 60 feet. Let me know when you're starting your turns around the point. All right, once again, guys, the tendency is to spiral in on the target. So make sure you maintain your nice, even turn all the way around. Starting right. now. Starting now? Okay. Right at 2,000 feet. Looking good. Oh, watch that descent. And keep your airspeed in the 60s. And then echo the helicopter. A little easier out of your door? Yeah, yeah. I can actually see it. Yeah. The examiner will probably let you pick which way you want to go. He won't say anything. Okay. So if he does that, make sure you do right hand turns. Yep. Clear for the option and make right. Clear for the option and two six right. Four four Charlie Juliet. Altitude's good. Target looks good. Altitude target. Altitude target. And every once in a while, throw speed in there. Altitude target speed. Altitude target, altitude target, altitude target speed. All right, doing good. Number nine or eight kilo. Remember guys, fly smoothly when you're with the examiner. Number two, you know, don't make any crazy sharp uh, motions. If you find you're a little bit off on your altitude or something, ease your way down or ease your way up to the altitude. Don't jerk the stick around and add jam power and all that. Uh, if the examiner sees that you are kind of making a correction to fix your altitude, or your speed, um, they usually will give it to you. They're not gonna be that, that much of a stickler, but uh, you should just just monitor everything, but just fly smooth, 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 smooth. All right, three quarters of the way around, we're almost there. Altitude's much better, we're right at 2,000 right now. 60 miles an hour, looking good. Target looks pretty good too. Number 24, Tuna Tower. All right, and we are back around to our original starting part. Good job there, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. All right, judging from our clock, um, we're past our halfway point here. So we're gonna hold off on the turns, uh, S turns down a road. We're gonna do that at another time. We're gonna go back to the airport and do some exciting takeoff and landings. So we are out here over the North Chino Hills. What do you say to the tower if you wanna go back? Uh, Chino Tower, Gyrocopter 113, Charlie X-Ray, I would say... North uh, Chino Hills. Uh, over North Chino Hills, uh, request inbound for touch and go. Yes. Okay, with whatever we, we need to go back to. Uh, oh, so let's do a left turn while we check ATIS. Okay. 125, 85. We're gonna check ATIS again. India now. India, okay. Two nerve bearings now for runway circle inspection. When you're ready and he has a break. Chino Tower, Gyrocopter 113, Charlie X-ray over the North Chino Hills with India requesting inbound for touch and go. Charlie landing with India. So 46570, Chino Tower, make right traffic runway 26 right, verify that information, India. Right traffic for 26 right, uh, I have India, so 5570. Chino Tower, Gyrocopter 113, Charlie X-ray over the North Chino Hills uh, with India request inbound for touch and go. November 113 Charlie X-ray, Tina Tower, make right traffic runway 26 right. Right traffic, 26 right, 113 Charlie X-ray. Look at you, professional on the radio. <laughs> yeah, look at that stick shake, like nothing. Nothing, yeah. Yeah. Hey folks, that's how the stick shake should be, just like that. Yeah, nothing here. <laughs> Yeah, shouldn't be fighting it. <laughs> no, uh, I think Jimmy Jimmy did this one. He balanced yeah. the rotors on this one. No. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy does a pretty good job sometimes. <laughs> and by the way, fans, uh, this gyro is for sale. And uh, I think um, I'm going to put a price on it. It's got uh, 400 and, yeah, 436 uh, hours on it. You want so, to relatively low time. Roger that. Pretty nicely equipped on the uh, avionics, and I think I'm going to put it for under a hundred thousand. It'll probably be like 
Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Oh, it's all probably true. Yeah, landing, man. It's like, just coming out. You're just coming out. You didn't flare. You just came out and went bam. Oh, okay. Just land that. I call it an airplane landing. Once you're down to a foot, start slowing that thing out. Bring that nose up. Okay. If you're at a foot, I don't care if you fall from a foot. Just slow it down and set those wheels up. Left traffic, runway 26 left, runway 26 right, center. Left traffic, right, cross center approved. Number two, following assess the short final runway 26 right. Clear for the option and fable uh, base inside the wash. Uh, turning right for crosswind and uh, we're number two. Uh, three Charlie X-ray for two six right. Niner. Yeah, that's the five seven zero, and I'll call the base. You'll call my base. Put so much information in here. I'm like, what, 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 what? Well, clear for the crosswind. That's not as important as uh, just. You should have said, clear for the option number two, three Charlie X-ray. Okay, that, that's kind of all, all he really needs to. All hear. he wants to hear. Yeah. Fourteen hundred. Good job. Back in the power off. I don't have to do my turns outside the wash, that's for sure. That's what he, because he said something about st keep it inside the wash. Just keep it inside the wash. I'm like, dude, that's no problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not going that far. Like, you're, you, you tell me when to turn. Yeah. You need to. But you guys don't know, the wash is a drainage ditch that's like miles away. So, if we're going all the way out to the wash yeah, sure, sure. to turn our base, we're going pretty far. We've got 3025, roger, and uh, break departure. And your number two flying a gyrocopter on the north down, and we 26 right, clear to land. I'll call the base. Departure on break 26 right, clear to land 26 right, you call me. Check out for 3 Charlie X, can you take a uh, short approach? Uh, firm, we'll make a short approach, 3 Charlie X, right? Okay, so thank you for the short approach, and then uh, traffic on a 2 mile initial will break for the north down and a Bearcat, 7 one or indicated. Uh, we'll keep an eye out, 3 Charlie X, right? Airport 24, proceed to Bravo Papa, hold short on my 26 left at Papa. Keep looking at our 24, clear to Bravo Papa, hold short 26 left on Papa. That's the 600 off ground point 6. So Jeremy's doing so well. Three zero two five traffic twelve o'clock and three miles are following seven one three zero south now and now two thousand five. That. Okay. Well, except we're a little low now. We're down to thirteen hundred feet. Abo A Hotel Alpha traffic approaching initial. Abo, it's a little too late. We're having an engine out right now. Oh my gosh, Jeremy, what are we doing? We're gonna I have your throttle, you have everything else. 570, turn base, turn okay. left, Put that out. nose down, get that best airspeed, which is 60. 60. Aim right to where you want to go. If you get there high, you can vertical descend or whatever, but you're going to land around the 2 6. Navajo A Hill Alpha, Roger, extend down and change your airspeed at 60. You're not going to get any power back. We will extend down this for runway 2 6 to come up by the Alpha. Wind 2807. Please keep that airspeed at 60. Don't pull up high. You're not going to be able to add power to save yourself. Turn on to the downwind, or is that going to turn to the final? All right, straighten it up. You're landing on the right side again. Uh, put it down. Don't get too high. You're high. How high you were? Oh, yeah. Yep. Got to get down to the runway. Don't get slow and or slow and high. Okay, okay. off we go. You have all the controls. Okay. You'll always want to fly at 60 down to a foot. Okay. All right. Go ahead and go full power on this guy. Goes down. Right there. Hold it. Nose down. 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 More down. Right there. Down. Right there. <laughs> there you go. Bearcat 025, base turn approved. Wind 2705, left number 2996. Traffic inside the wash. Parallel runway is assessed on 800 indicated. 16, off we climb. Good now, job. Eight off. You're pulling a Bearcat wing up right base over the wash. Ah. 2,100 indicated. That was crazy. You're getting it. You're getting it. <laughs> So I let you kind of bounce it in a little bit just yeah. to show you. You got to get down to down to a foot. Okay. Air to three Charlie X-ray. Call your right crosswind three. He'll call my crosswind three Charlie X-ray. Are uh, they coming from the north north side or right? Eight Charlie Alpha. No, wait, wait, Alpha. I'll call your base. Eight Alpha. Eight Alpha. I'll call the base. I do call my base. Eight Alpha. Hey guys, what do you think? Is Jeremy looking nervous? <laughs> he gets that stare of concentration, like dun 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 dun. That's good though. That's good. Check out the three Charlie X-ray, right cross and approve. I'll call your base. Right cross and approve. You'll call my base. Three Charlie X-ray. I can tell you, Jeremy's getting much calmer. He's much calmer now than he was. He doesn't have the big eyed stare too as much, you know. <laughs> Check out three Charlie X-ray, following a uh, Navajo on oh, about yeah, a three-mile yeah. left base, 1,800, whenever for traffic in place. Looking for traffic, three Charlie X-ray. 
Oh, I really this is 570 traffic on about a three mile left basis for the trailer only, a uh, Navajo at 1,800. There's the Bearcat. Yep. That's kind of cool. World War II Bearcat. I said I've probably told you these guys before, there's two world-class museums here on the airport, Planes of Fame and Yanks Air Museum, and uh, they have a lot of World War II aircraft, and they're flying a lot of the aircraft all the time out here. It's like it's like World War II every day yeah. <laughs> out here in Chino. So if you like that kind of wild aircraft, I do. Uh, Check out the 3 Charlie X-ray traffic just east of Washington, 1,400. We got out sight, uh, 3 Charlie X-ray. Number 3 Charlie X-ray, number 2, Paul Henry McKee, the church is lost. Uh, can you repeat? I had a uh, static. Number two, follow the twin from my C6 right, clear for the option. Traffic on the south down, want to be in the approach end, it's for the parallel runway at seven. We're number two for two six right, we'll keep the traffic in sight. Uh, three Charlie X-ray. Oh. Well, basically, the important parts of that conversation was clear for the option number two. Yep. There he is right there. There he is. Seven zero traffic about to be on a right base for the parallel runway is a gyrocopter. Over traffic five seven zero. Hey. All right. Jeremy's lowering the power on the base, which is the proper technique. He's keeping our airspeed above 60, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And we're eyeballing that other traffic ahead of us. He's about to cross the threshold. Turning on to final. And Tower 3, Charlie Air Crew, we're going to full stop this one. Tower 3, Charlie Air Crew. All right, Jeremy, on this one, I want you to target like you're going to land on the 2-6. Then you're not going to land on the 2-6. You're going to stay no, one foot off the ground, fly up to the intersection of the two runways, 2-1 and 2-6, and land there. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> But I don't want, once you're down to a foot off the ground, I want you to stay one foot off the ground the whole... Oh, uh, gosh. So just be ready to add power or whatever you need to do. And our airspeed is right at the barely 60 mark. So keeps dropping. Down. There you go. Get on down to the two. You're going to pretend like you're landing on the two six. So pull the power off. The four, six, five, seven, zero going Nose off. down. Keep that airspeed up. Yeah, and then just as you get there, you'll add power back and fly down on a foot. Here we go. Good targeting on the two six. That looks pretty good. All right. Down to a foot right about here. Add power back now. Just keep flying. Don't touch down. Looking good. Oh, looking good. Here comes the intersection of the runway. And then we'll need to slowly pull the power. Nose up. All right. Not too bad, Jerry. Wow. Stick full forward. Rotor brake on brake. Uh, uh, exit Delta Charge for the Navajo contact ground. Good night. Exit Delta contact ground. Three tail X-ray. All right, go ahead and pump it up by pulling down on that. I see easy turn off the runway. Not too bad. Who said you can't be taught? I feel good. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm well, working you're on doing it. better each time. That's that's all we can shoot yeah. for. Plus I turned the, uh, yeah, we're reading some clear audio. Plus I turned the stuff. America! Heck yeah. Uh, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah! <laughs> hey guys, Henry from Adventure Air here once again with uh, Jeremy the Wonder Boy.
and uh, we just went on our flight, and uh, we were doing turns around a point, and we came back to the airport and did a few takeoff and landings. And uh, how do you guys think that he did? Leave us a comment down below and tell us how you think Jeremy is doing. But Jeremy, what do you think about how you did today? I think it's coming along. I'm finally starting to get it. Um, the like this, the muscle memory and the uh, just the procedures and everything is just starting to fall into place. So I, I mean, yeah, of course I'm not perfect on my takeoffs and my landings and stuff, but it's it's a work in progress. That's right. Yeah, all this stuff takes time, guys. It's it's lots of flying, practice, 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 all that. Um, I know you guys remember the first time you drove a car, you know, and you're just all big eyed and, and you know, freaking out about everything. And think about how you drive a car now. People drive with one hand and they're looking out the window and girls are putting their makeup on and all that stuff. Um, that's how I want to get you guys with the gyroplanes too. I want you to be able to, you'll basically fly by the feel of it. Like what is the machine doing? And uh, you won't have to think about, okay, I need to add power to climb and take power off to descend. And it, it'll all come naturally to you the more that you fly. Um, I, know, I know you don't think it will right now, but believe me, if you fly enough, it'll all just come to you. You'll hear the sound of the engine. You'll know about what RPM you are. You'll know about what speed you are. Um, it just takes practice, practice, practice. That's all it is. Yeah, and, and like this aircraft that we flew today is new to me. Um, and so it's, even getting used to that, I, I feel like I was improving, you know, so it's, you know, I fudged up on the radio a little bit and, and um, you know, and other stuff, but I mean, I'm, I hope I'm not showing that I'm nervous or anything like that. I, I, I feel a lot more comfortable with. I think he did great. He did great today. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Yes, yes. So, um, come see us till next time. Uh, come see us till next time. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, tune in next time for more fun here at uh, Chino with Adventure Air. And until then, we will see ya. See ya.